There are various different types of strength in a material. It may be strong in one of these areas and yet weak in others. Depending upon exactly what these are will influence how and where these materials are used. The two very strong natural materials, spider silk and now it's been discovered limpet teeth, both have a very strong tensile strength similar to some types of steel. This means we'd hang weights from the same amount of material it would break under similar amounts of weight. However, for different practical uses, substances need to be strong under compression where the material is squeezed or they might be subjected to a shearing or a twisting force. Quite often things are subjected to all of these forces and generally a single material isn't well suited to this, which is why many common products are composites where two or more substances combined to increase the strength of a material. These can be made from anything from carbon fibre to reinforced concrete. A lot of the time, the strength of composite relies upon one thin layer being placed upon another, sometimes with the layers being at right angles to each other. With more layers you can create, the stronger generally the item becomes. The very thin layers, this can be both expensive and difficult in manufacturing. But, due to the way living things grow and develop, it can be relatively easy for plants and animals to create these structures. The difficulty in exploiting this to its maximum potential is producing them in the size, volume and quantities that we need. It's especially so for things like spider silk and limpet teeth. However, it may be soon possible to mimic some of the natural processes in creating these items. Thankfully though, we don't actually have to rely upon mimicry to develop all the advantages of natural materials. A great many strong natural materials have been made and used from man's earliest times. Some of the strongest and most versatile of these have been things like wood, wool and tendons. Stronger but maybe less practical or more unusual items have been things like teeth, seashells and bone. However, probably the substance which combines both strength and versatility to the most is bamboo. The flexibility of this material is often overlooked, certainly in the developed world. Bamboo is actually a form of grass and it grows very fast. It has both a good tensile strength and a good compressive strength. It's due in a major part to the fibres which are within the core of the bamboo. It also allows it to bend without breaking. These same fibres have a high silica content meaning that creatures like termites won't be able to eat it. Bamboo can be used in construction both as a building material and in scaffolding, supporting the building process. Also it's generally more environmentally friendly building material than many other alternatives. Now there are currently many scientists investigating different parts of the natural world looking for cheap, new, reliable, renewable materials to replace our dwindling resources and who knows where the next limpet teeth like material may come from, but it's out there somewhere.